Hey, I'm Lulu Lee, and today I'm talking about four steps to finding your work-life balance sweet spot. Now, this is a system that can be tailor-made to you. There's not one like cookie-cutter model. And so I really wanted to share this with you because I hear a lot of people say that they just don't have time to do things that they would like to do. And in this system, it's a way that you can really personalize your schedule and to identify what's really important. So I'm Lulu B. I work with women who are looking for more meaning and connection in their lives. I help them to find their passions, connect to that inner creative wisdom, and to commit to themselves their own happiness so they can have that clarity in their life to pursue their mission, what they're here to do, and the confidence to pursue it. So let's get started. So finding that work-life balance is tricky for a lot of people. Sometimes I struggle with it as well. I, I struggle between working at warp speed and then just kind of doing nothing. And so finding this balance is really important to just maintaining my overall health and sanity. And I really think a lot of people can use this system as well. So step one is to identify what is really important in your life. So what are the main categories in your life that you want to focus on? Personally, I have five categories. They are family, um, personal development, spiritual development, work, and health. Those are the five ca categories that I personally focus on throughout my week. And so I think about these five categories, health, family, personal development, work, and spiritual development. And I put these in my schedule. So like health-wise, what do I want to do that week? How active do I want to be? Put that in my schedule. Work, what are my priorities? What do I have to do? You know, go through and pick out these categories and put them in your schedule. And try not to over, um, over itemize it. Just be real general about it. And then um, you'll have an easier time having some flexibility within there. So that is step one. And then step two is to kind of take an inventory of how you feel when you're doing these things. So I know if I don't work out, when I had planned to, I often have um, poor sleep and I end up having energy that's not spent at the end of the day. And so that leads to my poor sleep. So I know that doing something physically active is really important to me, even though I kind of never want to do it, <laughs> but I know that it's important to me. So you're going to need to keep track of your energy levels so you can really monitor and take an inventory of your own energy throughout the weeks. And so this isn't like a one step cure. This is really time and skill and energy put into monitoring your life and how you're consciously going about your days. So that is step two. Keep track of your energy levels when you're doing these five um, categories like me or the categories that are important to you. Step three is to set boundaries. So work-life balance, it's often tricky for me. I try not to answer any emails for work on the weekends even though I know it's very easy for me to slip because I am a solopreneur and I'm always available, you know, with an internet connection. So I really have to be conscious about not answering emails and kind of deciding how I want to uh, approach social media. So uh, I know there's a lot of activity on weekends, but do I really want to spend my time doing that? Or would I rather be hanging out with my family? Chances are my family wins. So that is step four to set your boundaries. And number four, that was three. And number four is to ask for help. You don't have to be Superman or Superwoman to try to get everything done for every person in your life. So say no, set boundaries, um, ask for help for, you know, carpooling for the kids, ask them to see if they can find rides. I mean, my own personal development is a top priority as well. And the categories of what's important to me and so I can't be spending all that for my family or for my work and leave nothing for myself because then life is just no fun and I like having fun in my life I don't know about you but um, I like having fun and so I have to really put myself on that to-do list as well so those are my four tips for you for um, the steps to creating a work-life balance that's perfect for you number one what are the most important categories in your life Two is keep track of your energy levels when you do do these important categories, when you don't, how does that feel in the end, and really be a good steward of your own energy and focus on how you feel because if you're not paying attention to your life, it's just going to slip by you. 
Number three, set boundaries. Four is to ask for help and don't be Superman, Superwoman. So if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them below. What do you think about these steps? I would love to keep this conversation going. And if you know of anyone that can use some tips in this area, which I think probably everyone, I would love it if you shared this video. So I'm Lulu B. I can, um, you can find me here on this page, and I will talk to you later.